are performing DSG ST generation. Here we are using IC 1496 for generating DSG waves. We are connecting uh, carrier sequence, carrier signal of amplitude. Uh, just note it down what is the amplitude. Look at the DSO. We are using carrier signal of uh, 400 millivolts and frequency of carrier is 1 point some 1 megahertz. Just note down the frequency of carrier and uh, amplitude of carrier. Now we are going to check the amplitude of modulating signal using this signal generator. Signal generator will generate the modulating signal. So just check the amplitude and frequency of this modulating signal. By adjusting the uh, amplitude of modulating signal to 200 millivolt, nearly about 200 millivolt, and the frequency of modulating signal is 1 kilohertz. The output of signal generator is given to the input of IC1496, modulating input of IC1496 and the uh, carrier generated by this is given to the another input of uh, 1496 which is uh, FC and whatever is the uh, TSD generated will be get at the output of this 1496. We are getting output like this initially. To make the proper TSD AC wave, we have to adjust this carrier adjustment form so that we will get the proper waveform at the output. We can say that this is the proper DSC AC wave. There is a phase shift at zero crossing of modulating signal. To observe that phase shift, we will change this gain. 180 degree phase shift at the zero crossing of modulating signal. So this is the DSDSC wave generated. To get the frequency spectrum, we are using the MAC function. Press the MAC, MAC button. Choose operation FFT, window, handling. So we are getting the spectrum of DSDSC signal, LSD, ULC and the subject side. To measure the frequency of that LSD and ULC, you can use the cursor function and note down the readings of LSD and ULC. Now this was the uh, word. Modulation. For demodulation, we are using synchronous detection. So, whatever carrier used for the uh, modulation purpose, same will be the for, for demodulation. So, we are giving the carrier frequency same, and the DSBC generated is given to the input of demodulation detector. Now the output of this detector, you can see on DSO, distorted. So, for that purpose, we are using low pass filter to get the proper demodulated signal. Now we are giving the output of this detector to low pass filter. Whatever the frequency and amplitude was for the modulating signal, same is we are getting at the demodulated output. Here there is a reduction in amplitude because of noise in 